Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick overview of our ultrafiltration, ultrafiltration setup uh, that we have in the lab for your ultrafiltration experiments this semester. This is our main UF cell here, and it's connected to a nitrogen gas tank that's going to supply the pressure to get a pressure gradient going for our ultrafiltration experiments, as well as the rotor control here for the spinning device that is in our ultrafiltration cell, and some extras that will be involved in the process. And so I'm going to take this apart real quick and we'll put it together. Okay, so now we have it all taken apart. This is what it's going to look like when you guys come into the lab. Uh, in terms of setting it up, what you're going to start with, and we don't have one here, but you're going to put your ultrafiltration membrane in the cell right here, shiny side up. Then you're going to be able to secure that with your O-ring, which will go right on top, top of the membrane. And when you're tucking it in, make sure the edges are tucked into the creases on the corner there. Um, the whole point of the O-ring is to fasten it and not let any liquid through, so it's really important. After that, you're going to put your actual glass cylinder on there to secure the cell, and it will lay right on top of that O-ring pretty comfortably for you. should be able to feel it when it's fastened, now it's not really moving there. Then you're going to get to put your top on here that's connected to the stir. There's six holes that will go into these poles right here. And then you're going to fasten it um, like you're putting on a tire. So like the star method, you're going to want to do the ones that are across from each other uh, in order to have an even distribution when you're going on there. So this will probably take a second. Hold on. <laughs> And for those unfamiliar with what I mean by the star method, it's just going across to the other one when you're fastening it in, so then you're applying force on each side evenly. Okay, two more. Alright, and now that is tightened in there on our cell. Uh, now in the process, you're gonna to wanna to add your water or protein solution wherever you are in your steps, and you're gonna use a funnel and use the hole where the gas stopper will go into, and you're gonna add your solution into there. After you add your solution, you're gonna to wanna to plug it with the uh, pressure relief valve, which will also be used after the process to release the gas. And once you get that, that in, you can start supplying your gas. This is gonna loosen the gas tank for you, and this is gonna be able to control how much you're supplying uh, at a certain pressure. And lastly, this uh, stirring mechanism here is where you're gonna have it either stirring or not stirring. And as you can see, it's going in the cell right now. And your permeate is gonna come out through here, driven by the pressure, into a graduated cylinder and scale uh, setup that you have to make your measurements. Um, the other important thing is that after your process is fully completed, you'll want to twist this. It's a pressure relief valve. All the stored up gas that's causing a high pressure in there will release through there so that you can take everything out and reset up your system. And that's it.